this standing strength workout is not only great for helping you develop strength to support your changing body, your growing baby and an active labour, standing strength exercises for the whole body is also going to be great on days where you don't feel like getting up and down off the floor. So for this workout you'll need a chair with a high back or maybe um, a kitchen worktop. I've also got a pair of light hand weights, these are one kilogram. Um, alternatively, you can use a couple of filled water bottles or a couple of tins out of your kitchen cupboard. So the first exercise we're going to do, we're going to take the stance nice and wide, we're going to turn the toes slightly outwards. We're going to have the hands on the hips and we're just going to circle the hips all the way round. Now focus on really lifting the tailbone nice and high when the hips circle behind you and feeling that nice stretch around the hip joints all the way around. Take it nice and slow, stay comfortable through the whole movement. Take some nice deep breaths in and out as you circle those hips all the way around. Good, let's do one more circle in this direction. And then change direction the other way. So we're going to lift that tailbone nice and high as the hips go behind. As you come down to the side, feel that nice stretch down the inner thighs. And then bring the pelvis slightly forwards of the heels as the hips come around the front. Make the circle as small or as big to make sure you feel comfortable throughout the movement. And let's go for one more. Lovely, okay. Bring your hips back to centre. You'll now need one of your hand weights or one of your water bottles or one of your tins. You can place your hand on that, your back of your chair and we're just gonna set up your posture briefly before we start. So feet to hip distance apart. The outsides of your feet are in a nice straight line. Now just make sure that your pelvis as well is back over the heels. As pregnancy progresses, as the weight of our baby gets bigger, you might find that you start to tip forwards through your posture and then to compensate, we tend to shift the pelvis forwards from there. So let's try and bring the pelvis back and just drop the tailbone slightly and lift baby up a little bit higher. Okay, so in that nice lengthened posture, we're going to stand nice and tall. You're going to take your hand weight all the way up over the top into a weighted arm circle. So take it nice and slow again. Take a nice deep breath in as your arm comes up and then breathe out as the arm comes down. Just ease nice and gently through any cracks or crunches in your shoulders. Just gently warming up into the upper body. Lovely, and one more circle all the way around. Nice deep breath in and out as you come down. Good. Let's try it on. Okay, so moving on to the other arm. Again, just check in with your posture. Make sure the pelvis isn't shifting forwards over the heels. So keep those hips back and lengthen up nice and tall through the back of your body. So again, you can support yourself on your chair or your worktop if you want to. Otherwise, let's come into those nice slow shoulder circles with the other arm. Slowing your breathing down, inhaling on the way up and exhaling on the way down. Lovely. And then one more. Okay, so placing your hand weight down to one side, we're now going to come into a wide stance again with your toes pointing slightly out. Use your chair or worktop as a bit of support again, and we're going to drop down into a little semi squat. So we're not we're just going to bend through the knees just slightly. Just watch as you come down that your pelvis doesn't shift forwards. Okay? So bring your bottom directly down, feel long through the waist. Now we're going to take your hands to your hips or you can keep one hand on your chair. And from here, we're just gonna come into some pelvic tilts. So I want you to tuck the tailbone underneath and then tip baby forwards. So tuck your tailbone underneath and then tip baby forwards. So we're just getting that movement through the pelvis 
into the hips before we move forwards anymore. So again, take some nice deep breath in as the baby comes forwards and exhale as you tuck the tailbone under. Lovely. Let's do a couple more. And hold it there. Okay. So we've moved your pelvis now through its range of movement forward and back. We want to find a nice neutral position now. So I'd like you to come down into that squat again and find somewhere in the middle of those two positions. So we don't want to be tipped forwards or too far tucked under. We want to find that the bowl of the pelvis is in a nice neutral position. So let's come down, find that nice neutral position and from there we're going to drop down into a nice wide squat and come back up. I'd like you to take a nice deep breath in as you lower down and exhale as you come back to stand. And just be aware a little bit of your knee position as you come down into the squat. I want you to take those knees out towards your little toes rather than collapsing inwards. So breathe in as you come down, exhale as you come up. You'll feel a nice stretch through the inner thighs on the way down as well. Feel that your weight is coming into your heels on the way down into that squat rather than coming forwards into your toes. So really sit your bottom back as if you're going to perch back onto a chair. Lovely. We can come down nice and low into that squat or keep it nice and shallow if you prefer. And to maintain that nice posture, I advise you when you come down into that squat to look slightly down to the floor in front of you rather than lifting your chin high as you come down. So keep that chin tucked in. Keep the back of the neck nice and long. Lovely. So you might feel that you're starting to get a little bit warm. You might feel that the heart rate is starting to come up a little bit now. And let's do a couple more. Good. Okay. Right, we're going to do one more set of those wide squats. This time as an option, we're going to add in your light hand weights. So feel free to do the same option again, where you're just supporting yourself on your chair or your worktop. Or we can add a little bit more intensity by adding in your hand weights, your water bottles or your tins. So take the stance nice and wide. Start off in a semi-squat with your arms down in front. We're gonna take a nice deep breath in on the way down and as you exhale you're going to lift those weights up in front of your chest and your elbows are nice and high. Inhale to come down, exhale to come up. Good. If you prefer you can alternate these two movements instead of combining them together. So you could keep your hands on your hips for the squat and then do a row when you come back to stand. Good. Or we can come back to combine the two together. So lower as we breathe in, exhale to come up. Good. Let's do two more. And lower back down. Good, lovely. Right, we're going to come to some lunges now. So I'm going to turn to place my chair. Again, just starting off in a nice neutral posture. So watch baby isn't pulling you forwards and watch the pelvis isn't shifted forwards over the toes. So let's bring the pelvis back. Let's bring baby up slightly and lengthen up through the back of your body. Right, from here, we're going to take a step back with the right foot. We're going to keep the heel up into the air. We're going to take a breath in as we come down. 
and exhale as we come back up. Take a step back, breathe in, exhale, and back up. Now I'm taking it nice and slow and steady. As an option, you can increase your pace a little bit through this movement. So you can start to move a little bit quicker if you want to, and you can breathe naturally. Just make sure you do keep breathing and don't hold your breath. Good. Lovely, now you can keep going with the same option, or as we take the right leg back, as we come down to the lunge, we're gonna side bend and reach over the top with your right arm. As the left foot comes back, we're gonna reach over with the left arm. So you get this nice stretch here, all the way down the side of your body, into your hips, and then we come back up. Good. Again, you're probably getting warm by now, the heart rate is coming up a little bit. You should come to an intensity level where you can maintain a conversation. You shouldn't be that breathless that you're struggling to be able to talk. Let's do one more on each side. And last one. Good. Okay. We're going to come into a nice hip stretch now. So we're going to take a step back with that right foot again. As we drop down into your lunge, we're going to tuck your tailbone underneath. Now you will feel a nice stretch there through the front of the right hip. And we're just going to hold it there for a few seconds. Good. Take a step in. And then the same with the left leg. Drop into your lunge. Tuck the tailbone under. Go that stretch through the front of the left hip this time. And come back up. Good. Okay. So the final exercise I've got for you is a bit of a combination of different movements. So something to get you thinking a little bit as well. We're going to face our chair or our worktop. Again, lengthen up through the back of your body. Bring your pelvis back. Right knee first. We're going to come up in front. And then we're going to kick behind. Up in front and kick behind. Good. So just focusing on that right leg to begin with. With the left leg that you're standing on, keep the knee nice and soft so you're not totally locking out that joint. So nice and soft and cushioned through that left leg. Lift and kick. Now with this kick here, Really focus on giving that glute a little bit of a squeeze as you lift. Up. And up. Come back to standing for that knee lift. Watch that you don't shift the whole pelvis forwards as the knee raises up in front. Stand nice and tall. Good. And last one. Okay, let's come on to the left leg. So supporting yourself in front again if you feel like you need to. Left knee comes up, tap down, and then kick behind. Up, and kick. Good. Standing nice and tall through that right hip. Soften through that right knee just a little bit. This time giving that left side of your glutes a little bit of a squeeze as that leg comes behind you. Good. 
Good. And last one to finish off. Lovely. Good. Okay. Let's come back to that nice wide stance where we started. Toes pointing slightly out to the side, hands to the hips, and just come into some hip circles. So circle the pelvis nice and slowly, all the way around. Taking some nice breaths in just to cool yourself down, bring the heart rate back down. Good. And change direction. And last one. Lovely. So bring the pelvis back into the centre. Make sure it's back between the heels. Lengthen up nice and tall. Couple of shoulder rolls back to finish. And we're there. Well done, everybody. Great work.